today's video what we are going to be looking at is just a basic guide to the world of trading so you might be a person who's thinking about trading and so you're wondering to yourself how can you actually start trading and how can you create a trading strategy that will yield you success full results in the world of the financial markets so let's get started here the first thing that you want to understand is that the world of trading is simply an auction an auction for different types of assets in the market that you can buy and sell. So your job as a trader is to monitor different asset prices and then predict where they might in fact actually go. That way you buy an asset and then sell it at a higher price or obviously you can do what we call short selling where you benefit from the price of an asset actually decreasing and there's a whole entire way that's in fact actually done. But that's something that you can in fact actually do when you are a trader. But let's just say we're gonna to stick to the buy side of things where basically you're a trader who's hoping to just buy assets and then sell them at a higher price. How would you formulate a strategy for this and how would you in fact actually go about this so once you understand that prices move one of the things that will come up in your mind is well why do prices move well prices move because there's always a reason for them to move and it's basically when people are transacting so when there's more buyers in the market for a particular asset the price is going to move up why because buyers are willing to bid higher and higher prices when the price is moving down it's because sellers are selling at lower and lower prices why because buyers aren't willing to accept a high price for that asset and so that's what causes price fluctuations by knowing this you can then start to ask, ask yourself a very simple question that is what makes people think an asset price is more valuable that's willing to buy it at a high price or what makes people think that an asset is in fact less valuable thus willing to sell it at lower and lower prices and that's where we get to actually understanding the world of economics so one of the things that you have to be able to do is do what we call fundamental analysis where basically you can economic data you also look at what's going on with the specific assets <coughs> Now, I'll give an example for this. So for example, I could look at something like um, the NASDAQ 100, so QQQ, and I know the NASDAQ 100 is made up of the top listed 100 companies on the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ is the stock exchange in the United States. And so by knowing these companies and knowing what's going on, knowing their earnings, knowing how their businesses are performing, know the prices of these assets, I can better have an internal understanding of the NASDAQ 100. After I understand that, I have to understand the economic environment that these companies operate in. Most of these will be international companies. So by understanding the global economy, and what's actually going on I can better predict if there's going to be demand for the services of these companies thus those companies are going to be making more money and obviously more money and higher earnings generally always yields higher share prices because people are willing to invest in companies when they in fact actually are making more and more money meaning the share price is going to go up thus as a trader I can actually predict the price movements for that particular asset such as the QQQ which is the Nasdaq uh, 100. I can also do this in the short term so one of the things that I can do in the short term Let's look at what other traders are in fact actually doing what are they thinking and what is influencing them and then i can use technical analysis in order to predict where the price might in fact actually go so a simple strategy here that i can actually utilize is something like the rsi strategy where basically i look at uh, overbought and oversold levels so the rsi stands for re um, relative strength index and what it's used for is basically to tell you the momentum um, of the price meaning the speed at which the price is changing and it can also tell you what we call overbought and oversold levels thus you can see reversals when the price crosses over certain certain lines and certain levels um, in the market. Obviously, I can couple this with the moving average. And of course, I can use a plethora of other indicators to in fact actually be able to tell what is going on with the asset price. So here's what you want to do as a beginner trader. So this is the step by step for you now. What you want to first do is open up an account with a reputable broker. So something that you can look at if you click the link in my bio is experts option register and open up accounts with them and then once you have your accounts verified you can then deposit money and then slowly start building trade ideas trade ideas are basically ideas of what you think is going to be happening in the market where do you think prices are going to go for different types of assets i'd recommend that you choose different assets that you are familiar with or that you're willing to learn about and really get an in-depth understanding of these particular assets because by getting an in-depth understanding you can get a better way of actually analyzing those assets you can develop a strategy specific to those particular assets so for example you might be a person who loves technology companies so you might look at something like the qqq etf which is obviously the nasdaq 100 or you might look at the whole entire global economy and then look at something like the, the vanguard total stock market um, etf or you might be a person interested in currencies so you look at something like the euro usd so the euro versus the dollar and predict the price fluctuations between those two assets and then once you've done that you'll develop your strategy basically your strategy will come in two forms you want to have some fundamental analysis where you look at the actual assets you look at the economic environment of that asset and then you want to look at a pricing strategy where you understand how the price might in fact actually move and like i've said there's a few indicators that you can actually utilize for that part and then once you combine these two strategies you can then make predictions about where the price is going to go 
Furthermore than that, once you've made predictions about where the price is going to go, you are then going to do some risk analysis. So risk analysis is basically when you determine, hey, I'm going to invest this much in this particular um, um, asset. I'm going to make this size of a trade. So maybe I'm going to trade um, for $10 where I'm predicted the price is going to go up. And then when I sell, I'll obviously make a profit. But what if the price, in fact, actually goes down? Where could the price, in fact, actually go? And what sort of risk to my capital is there if that particular situation happens? So you have to also do some analysis to understand where the price might in fact actually go against you and then try and navigate your way away from those types of situations or trade in such a way that you don't put your money at risk when you're seeing that there's potentially risk in that particular trade that you're going to take and if there's risk in that particular trade then obviously you can use some um, tools such as take profit and stop losses in order to be able to mitigate some risk from um, the trade and then once you've done that you've got a complete package now you just need to create a list of assets that you're going to trade and then create a list of trades that you're going to input in your brokerage accounts so such as expert option you can then go on to the platform and put your trades at various times of the day depending on when um, each asset's market is actually open and then once you start trading you'll just slowly get used to it understand the way uh, things work and how uh, the, uh, the function of the platform works then understand the world of the market as well and then slowly build yourself as a trader and then really start making some good money from trading anyway guys if you enjoyed videos like this then subscribe like comment if you have any questions then definitely comment and then what you can do is also click the link in this video to join experts option and then start your trading journey with them until then guys enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.